What's up guys and it's time to talk about the unexpected surprise. Samsung has already started working on the Galaxy S11 and it's coming with some major groundbreaking changes. The Galaxy S11 could be the first Samsung phone to come with a spectrometer. Spectrometer is a scientific instrument that will allow the Samsung flagship phone to basically measure the content of a physical object using the light source. In simple terms, with the help of the spectrometer, the S11 camera will be able to measure the moisture in your skin, it can tell you the exact calorie count of a food with proteins and carbs as well as the sugar levels of whatever you're eating. In addition to all of that, you'll also be able to tell the difference between a real and fake medicine. It's actually going to be a real game changer feature that we can only expect from Samsung. With S11, we're gonna get the biggest generational camera upgrade ever. This is not the first time we're seeing a spectrometer on a phone, a Chinese company called Cheng Hong. They released a smartphone back in 2017. Barely anyone has heard about this phone, so Samsung will be the first major flagship company to include this scientific feature inside their phone. And considering all of its application, I think it's going to be very useful for different purposes. It's definitely a huge surprise. In addition to this unexpected surprise, Samsung is also going to bring some huge changes to the actual camera. I saw newest tweet out saying that the camera sensor that Samsung will be using could actually be stronger than their 100 megapixel camera setup, which has been implemented in the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha. We've already seen the image sample, the clarity, the sharpness that that sensor produces. So anything better than that inside the Galaxy S11 would be astonishing. In addition to that, after years of having 2x optical zoom, Samsung will be bumping that to 5x optical zoom level. I know it's not that exciting anymore considering how many times Huawei has done it, but still, it is something that I would really want to see. Along with that, it is highly expected that Samsung will be bringing the refresh rate on the Galaxy S11 to 90 hertz. Samsung's competitor OnePlus said that there will be no future phone with a display having less than 90 hertz refresh rate. So Samsung and even Apple, they have to upgrade their refresh rate next year or else it's gonna be very disappointing. So I think Thing, it's definitely happening. Now, apart from the Galaxy S11, Samsung is also bringing some huge changes to the Galaxy A and M series 2020, particularly to the design. So from a notch design, Samsung is moving towards a punch hole design, which is a little bit different compared to what they have done with their flagship phones. So the hole is actually right next to the bezel. It's right at the edge, meaning there is no space in between like we have on the S10 family or the Note. It does look pretty small though compared to their first generation of hole punch designs, so it's definitely a huge upgrade. Now Samsung is working hard on its Android 10.0 update. It's actually currently being tested out for the Galaxy S9. It's a huge news indeed. The S9 is currently under testing with Samsung's next generation of One UI software update, the One UI 2.0, based on Android 10. I've actually done a video about the early, early developer build of that. You can check that out in the description of the video, but pretty much it's gonna bring a lot of changes and one of the exciting changes will be the gesture implementation and the addition of the back swipe key. Based on this news, it seems that Samsung is working really fast for the Android 10 update compared to their last year Android 9.0 Pi update. So it's a good news indeed for the S9 users. It's probably going to be their last major update. Samsung will be dropping some legendary devices such as the S8 family and the Note 8 family. I made a whole video you're talking about which Samsung phone will potentially get the Android 10 update. You can watch that as well, but pretty much the update is on its way. So all in all, the Galaxy S11 is looking pretty exciting. In addition to the camera upgrade, we could see the spectrometer as well as a huge upgrade to the fingerprint sensor. The sensor size would increase dramatically compared to the current Note 10 fingerprint sensor size. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, if you guys don't know already, the giveaway is still live. I'll be announcing the winner on October 20th. If you guys want to enter, please be sure to check the link in the description. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.